cheers. So we're all set up over here at Poche's uh, fishing camp. If I start fishing here in a little bit, that'll be a separate video. Uh, Bacy and the kids still at the house. They uh, I'm mixing up soccer practice, so they're a little behind. So I can't set up. They uh, do a little tour of the place, but I figure I'd get my intro out while I'm drinking a cold pot. Uh, this place is in Bro Bridge, Louisiana, which is relatively about 20 minutes from my house in Opelousas. Uh So, not a far place to come when we got stuff going on like soccer. That's more far. Uh, I got some meat marinating, about to, some round steak that I cut up, about to cook that in the gravy in a little while. But I uh, might do a little fishing, maybe a separate video. And tomorrow morning I'll shoot my king bet, uh, one of my bet videos for the Saturday uh, day game. That'll be on my other channel, JR Bet. Check it out. Do a tour. Sorry for the wind, but I figured we'd start with a little view view of the setup where we're at. Spot number one. They got this doodad right here. I'm not sure quite what it is. It's like drain off water that they got in there with a Christmas tree. But there's some bullfrogs living in it. I'll get a video of them here in a second. That'll be uh, part of this video. And maybe even part of a short that I'll put on the channel. They got a tour. Uh, spot one. We got this nice tree right here. We're right by the water, but cool, it's windy right now. Hope that wind dies down. I like to get some fishing in. But uh, they ain't took the bikes off yet. The kids ain't here yet, so I had to lift them on there. That's my new rack I just put on there. Matter of fact, got some firewood stacked up right there. We'll have a little fire tonight. But uh, got my truck parked back there. Got no space for the truck, the camper. Got a nice pad. Got the little rug out, got the black stone out. I'm gonna do some asparagus with my gravy that I'm about to cook in a little while. Yeah, nice little setup. It's nice and neat. Oh, didn't have to uh, level out because the spot was nice and level. So, uh, yeah. And the way the wind's blowing, it's not blowing the canopy all over the place, so I can do the canopy out for now. But if I leave, I will rub that in. So, that's spot number one, y'all. That's the spot we in. Here is the pool area. Which is closed at the moment because you know it's cold outside well actually it really ain't that cold outside but i imagine that water's pretty damn cold but that's the pool area it's not too big of a pool but we swam we've been here before and we swam in it was a pretty good time drank a few beers on the side of it they got some uh bathrooms and some showers and whatnot in this building then right over there is the playground the kids will be playing on that this weekend that's where we're staying at spot one there's one of the lakes there's a there's this pond there's a pond back there that we're gonna go look at and there's another big old pond on the opposite side of this one and there's also a pond in the front so i think there's four ponds you can fish and this is the little grocery store area they got like some stuff you can buy like beer and bait and whatnot they also uh have bands and stuff that play here it's a thing that's over there we'll show you that in a little while the Saturday night Kip Sonye is playing, which is tomorrow night. So might uh might have a little bit of that in the video too. We'll have to see. With the kids, we uh we might not make it. <laughs> so they got some little robes. Got stuffed animals. Say hi. <laughs> got different things you need if y'all need to fry fish. Toilet paper. Just they sell little uh, and they got live bait in here. Read it. Ribbit. Ribbit. So this is the very front pond right here. I think that uh, RV, they had some issues with their bumper pull on that truck. Look like they got it fixed up now though. Um, over there is my camper. You can see the back of it. That's spot number one. That's that building I showed y'all where you can buy bait and whatnot. And this is the first pond right in the front. This is the first time I fished it. Um, got a lot of structure in it. Some turtles just jumped off that log. So this might be the spot to try. Scratching a pot. Scratching a pot. Ooh, that's going to be a pretty gravy. 
Ooh, the round steak in a gravy. Fire up. One of the things I didn't mention yesterday, or I might have and forgot, there's a little dog park area also that you can put your dogs into frolic and play with others and whatnot. He's crappy at least. Yeah, I got the grass. <laughs> oh, hey. I take baby. It don't matter. He's on the camera. He's crappy. Hey, I had my beer in my hand and I still caught me a fish me. I'll give you a kiss and I'll throw you back. So we got the golf cart that my brother got hooked up right there. This is the pond across from where we're at, spot one. So that's pond two. That's pond one over there. Did y'all saw me fish already? I think this is pond four. And over there, there's a pond that crosses a pond that's called pond three. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna roll over there in a little while. But I'm giving y'all the the detour of it or the tour I don't know what you want to call it that's all the campus they do a loop around pond three and then the campus go like this along pond one, uh, two and we will tour all of that and this is the video of the tow that's my nephew of Poche's camping fish Oh, I didn't know they had a primitive air. Oh, that's cool. Oh, but damn, I didn't know that. This is, oh yeah, I got a video going. This is the back of pond three or four. I don't know, I lose track of the pond. This is all the way in the back. This is the primitive area that I didn't even know existed. That I didn't know they could have spot did you come stay in some tents. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. So this would be a good week to be in a tent. Oh shit! This would be a good. This would be a good weekend to be here on the uh, in a tent. I think this is pond five here. I forgot they have this pond. And then there's that's pond four, pond three or no two. Pond one is up in the front. I don't know. I get confused. But yeah, so we're at the corner. This is where all the campers are over here. There's no campus down here. This is just all fish. And then there's some campus. And we're gonna tour that area. But we're fishing. We're trying to catch some fish us. This is the first part of the loop, I guess you could say. Or the back end of the loop, really, in a way. That goes between that pond, which is by our camper, and this pond over here. That's the main pond. Which I guess, yeah, that's, that's a good pond. It's a good pond. They got some fish in that pond. And you can see the campus lined up along here. It's filled up here. This weekend, there ain't no empty spots. Right here, this road cuts that way. It cuts between the two ponds. Or you can go straight and there's some more campus. My song's playing in the background. I'm the man, I'm the fan. But doing my filming. Oh, I didn't realize they put this up. They got a rental. Oh, I didn't see the rental shack. 
Hi, hi. That's new. That's new. That's new. The kayak rental and snack shot area. They did some snowballs and nachos and some chips. But we're coming around the corner of the loop here, y'all. It's a good pond to fish, by the way. They got sagging in here. I know that for a fact. Oh, yeah, right over there. You can tell everybody I'm the man. That's a pull through. One of the very few they got here. They got two pull throughs right here. I think there's like four total in the whole campground. No campers on that side, just on this side by the lake. Because this is a camping fish, y'all. Camping fish. Word. Because I'm the man, I'm the man. That's where they got that gap right there. Yeah, like there should be a spot there. Yeah. So, there's a couple of cabins too that you can rent right here. That are right here. They got a little barbecue pit you can see right there. There's another cabin right there. You can fish the pond. So, if you don't got a camper, you can come stay here too. They got primitive camp spots that I just learned about. They got three cabins that you can stay at, and they got all the spots for the campers. Y'all come and have a good time at the Poche. This is the main strip, the one we own. We jam. There's the playground and the kids' light. There's the kids doing anything. That's another cabin that you can rent. It almost looks like a little church, though. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, you can rent that one. That's where the band plays, and you know, there's cabins on the other side of the lake that I showed. This is a little two spot joint one. All packed up, ready to head back to the house. Figured I'd put this on the video as the last part to say I hope y'all enjoy it. Uh, the tour isn't probably as good as some of my tours, but it is what it is. You get an idea of what's here. I uh, will say I thoroughly enjoy this campground. I do plan on being back. This is my third time coming, and I really like my spot. That's the spot I might try to get from now on if it's available. Uh, hope y'all like it. Hope y'all hit that like. I hope y'all hit that subscribe. Till next time, peace.